There has been new archaeology in Africa that has changed everything that we knew or predicted about the evolution of human beings. The discovery directly impacts our understanding of the origin of humans and their evolution to the modern period. The saga, which we thought was so simple that the transition from one period in history to another happens gradually after a certain period of time, turns out to be a little bit more complicated, which has been proved by this mysterious and shocking discovery. Hello and welcome back to The Abandoned Archaeologist again, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we will discuss the new ancient archaeological discovery that is rewriting the evolution of humans. But before we begin, to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of the video. Who were the first humans? Write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin. The scientific community was stunned two years ago when fossil hunters revealed the remains of a mysterious and archaic new species of human discovered deep inside a cave in South Africa. Since then, bodies of long-lost family members have been discovered. The discovery of 15 partial skeletons is Africa's largest single discovery of its kind. The researchers claim that the discovery will alter our perceptions of our ancestors. These individuals were also capable of ritual behavior. The species, dubbed Naledi, has been assigned to the grouping or genus Homo, to which modern humans belong. The researchers who discovered the creatures were unable to determine how long ago they lived. Still, Professor Lee Berger, who led the team, said that he believed that they could be among the first of our kind, genus Homo, and could have lived in Africa up to three million years ago. Professor Berger believes Naledi can be viewed as a bridge between more primitive bipedal primates and humans. The hall of 15 partial skeletons includes males and females of various ages, ranging from infants to the elderly. The find is unprecedented in Africa and will help to explain how the first humans evolved. A Chronology of Human Evolution Ardipithecus ramidus, 4.4 million years ago, fossils were discovered in Ethiopia in the 1990s. Pelvis has tree climbing and upright walking adaptations. Australopithecus afarensis, 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago. The species of human relative is responsible for the famous Lucy skeleton. This species' fossils have only been discovered in East Africa so far. Several skeleton features indicate that afarensis walked upright, but they may have spent some time in the trees. Homo habilis, 2.8 to 1.5 million years ago. This human ancestor had a slightly larger brain case and smaller teeth than the Australopithecines, or older species, but retained many more primitive characteristics such as long arms. Homo naledi, unknown age, but researchers believe it could be 3 million years old. The new discovery has small, modern-looking teeth, human-like feet but more primitive fingers and a small brain case. Homo erectus, 1.9 million years ago till date unknown. Homo erectus had a modern body plan that was nearly identical to ours. However, it had a smaller brain than a modern person and a more primitive face. Homo neanderthals is a type of Homo sapiens, 200,000 to 40,000 years old. The neanderthals were a species that lived in Western Eurasia before our species left Africa. They were shorter and more muscular than modern people, but their brains were slightly larger. Homo sapiens, 200,000 years till present. Modern humans descended from the Homo heidelbergensis species in Africa. A small group of Homo sapiens left Africa 60,000 years ago and colonized the rest of the world, displacing other human species along the way with a small amount of interbreeding. About Homo naledi, Homo naledi is unlike any other African primitive human. It has a brain the size of a gorilla and a primitive pelvis and shoulders. However, it is classified as a member of the same genus as humans do to its more advanced skull shape, 
relatively small teeth, characteristic long legs, and modern-looking feet. One of the most intriguing mysteries raised by the discovery is how the remains ended up there. Professor Berger believes that the discovery of a creature with such a mix of modern and primitive characteristics should cause scientists to reconsider the definition of what it means to be human, so much so that he is hesitant to call Naledi a human. Professor Stringer and other field researchers believe that Naledi should be classified as primitive humans. However, he agrees that current theories must be re-evaluated and that we've only scratched the surface of human evolution's rich and complex story. How is it shedding light on human evolution? After the discovery, the team revealed the size of the pile in a paper published in the journal eLife. They now have at least 18 Homo naledi remains, as the species is known. In addition, a nearly complete adult skull was discovered in a cave chamber, 100 meters from the first hall of bones. The bones were found to be between 335,000 and 236,000 years old, much younger than many scientists had predicted. It implies that this species of primitive hominid existed at the same time as Homo sapiens. Surprisingly, the bones show few signs of disease or stress from poor development, implying that Homo naledi was the dominant species in the area at the time. They're the healthiest corpses you'll ever see. Fully grown Homo naledi stood at about 150 centimeters tall and weighed about 45 kilograms. However, it is remarkable for its blend of ancient and modern elements. It has a small brain and curved fingers that are well adapted for climbing, but its wrists, hands, legs and feet resemble those of Neanderthals or modern humans. If the dating is correct, Homo naledi may have emerged in Africa around 2 million years ago. Still, it retained some of its more primitive characteristics even as modern humans evolved. This is astonishingly young for a species still exhibiting primitive characteristics found in two million year old fossils. Nevertheless, the age of the bones, as well as their discovery in the rising star cave system on the outskirts of the cradle of humankind World Heritage Site near Johannesburg, has led scientists to speculate that some ancient stone tools discovered in the area may have been mistakenly attributed to Homo sapiens. They could instead be the work of Homo naledi. There have never been any stone tools discovered with Homo naledi bones, but Stringer does not rule out the possibility that the species made them. It appears that its work is present in the archaeological record of Southern Africa, but is currently unattributed. Another question raised by the remains is how they came to be buried. Berger does not believe the creatures arrived by chance. According to experts, the discovery of this second chamber supports the theory that Homo naledi deliberately disposed of its dead in the deep underground chambers of the rising star cave system. They couldn't see any other way than them going into these remote chambers and bringing bodies in. They suspect they were also able to control fire in order to accomplish this. According to Jessica Thompson, a Paleolithic archaeologist at Emory University in Atlanta, the bones show that human evolution was not the simple, linear progression from one species to another that is commonly assumed. It doesn't start with something that looks like a monkey, then something that looks like an ape, then something that looks like a human. And then you've got people. It's far more complex than that. What do you think of this discovery of rewriting human evolution? Comment below and the answer to our question is Homo habilis or handyman lived in eastern and southern Africa between 2.4 million and 1.4 million years ago and is one of the earliest known humans. Subscribe for more.